Hey guys, welcome back. Finally, Redmi Note 5 and Note 5 Plus got MIUI 10 global stable update that is based on Oreo 8.1 and the build number is 10.0.2. In this video, I will tell you what are the changes in this update or we will check the performance and other features of MIUI 10 update. The Redmi Note 5 just got the Oreo 8.1 update 2 weeks back and now the MIUI 10 update is rolling out which is a nice thing. So I have updated my phone now first let's go to system settings about phone and as you can see I am on MIUI 10 global ROM based on Oreo 8.1 with the security patch of August which is not the latest one and the build number is 10.0.2 regarding the changes designed for full screen experience, all new full screen gestures and new UI which is the MIUI 10, natural sound system, ambient sound of forest, beach, drizzle, straw, fire and summer, other improvements and optimization, other system apps including clock and notes go to major revamp too. Now we will talk about the changes first. They have added all new full screen gestures, so to enable full screen gestures, Go to device settings, then full screen display. Now select the full screen gestures. I have tested these gestures and I can say these gestures are pretty much smooth and better than MIUI 9. There is no lag. You can swipe up to go to home screen and swipe and hold for resend and swipe left and right to go back. Coming to the next change which is natural sound system in the clock app with ambient sound of forest, beach, drizzle, straw, fire and summer. As you can see the UI is completely different in the clock. If you go to timer in the clock app, you can use these natural sounds to relax. Regarding the next change which is about the AI and smoothness of the ROM. So let's test the app launch speed and I can say the UI is now more responsive and buttery smooth with MIUI 10 update. Look at the app launch speed of MIUI 10, it's amazing, no lag at all. Regarding the MIUI 10 features, this is the new notification panel which looks like Android P and this is the new vertical style recent menu. This is the new volume slider which looks like Android P volume panel. I have tested the basic features with MIUI 10 update in Redmi Note 5 and 5 Plus. Wi-Fi is working without any issues. Regarding the voice calls, VoLT is working fine. I have not faced any network drop with this update. If we talk about fingerprint and face lock, I have tested both these things. Fingerprint is now more faster and responsive with this update. The same thing with the face lock too. As you can see the moment it detects my face, it unlocks the device within a second. Apart from the UI changes, MIUI has some revamped apps and first is the security app. As you can see it's completely changed than the MIUI 9. It also has this new option called network test. You can use this if you want to test your mobile network or Wi-Fi network. Calendar app has also updated. This is the new full white UI in the calendar app and it has some more features. Weather app has also updated and it's completely revamped UI. Let's open the theme application and check what is new in that. If you go to wallpapers, still there are no new wallpapers but now you can use from your own live wallpapers and video wallpapers in this menu. The shutter speed of the camera app is fast. Now still with MIUI 10 update, we are not getting portrait mode on the back. Regarding the other features of the camera app, there are no new modes, picture quality is fine and in video section, they have added now 1080p at 60 frames per second. As you can see, I have recorded a short video clip and it's truly a 60 frames per second which is as of now better than the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now talking about other minor changes which is regarding in the notes application. Now you can record your notes by voice. You can also share the notes as any image to your WhatsApp, Gmail and any other app. Messaging app has also changed. The UI is different than the MIUI 9. Overall in MIUI 10, all the main applications has revamped. On the last we have some new options to the gallery app. 
you can now go to gallery settings and more talking about the benchmark scores the Antutu version 7 score is 78566 and the Geekbench score for single CPU core is 872 and multi-core score is 4294. So that's pretty much for this video. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Till then I am signing off. Bye bye.